Welcome to this session. So today we will have Manish on the stage. So before starting, I would like to give a huge shout out to Browser Stack, our exclusive sponsor for all community events and premier sponsor for all conferences. Uh, because of them, we are able to provide you all the knowledge and all the events that helps you. So thank you to them. Now, uh, I would like to welcome Manish. Uh, Manish is an automation test lead uh, who has expertise in test automation and agile methodology. He is enthusiastic about applying technical knowledge and quality assurance skills to improving QA processes. He has seven plus years of experience in multi uh, domain software. So I would like to call him up on the stage uh, where he will be talking about the importance of full stack testing in modern software development. So hi everyone. So hi Vanjiro, how are you? I am fine Manish, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm also good. You can now share your screen and take over. Yeah, sure. Let me just quickly share it. Uh, uh, can everyone like see my screen? Yeah, it's visible. Ah, okay, let's go. Okay, so uh, let's start. So it's seventeenth virtual meetup here in uh, for the uh, test drive. So uh, I have also attended like offline meetups are, that are great source of learning. So if you guys are in the cities where uh, test drive have offline meetups just uh, join them and like they, they have a monthly meetup and uh, it offers like a lot of learning uh, to get from uh, similar people in the similar domains and uh, with the different domains also so uh, it's it's a great thing to go there and join that so in today's meetup like my topic is beyond the ui the importance of the full stack testing in modern software development so as Vanjika uh, has already like introduced me, let me just uh, brief me about uh, about myself. So I have like eight eight plus years of experience as an SDET, and uh, I have worked with multiple tools uh, for the automations in API, UI, performance testing. Majorly, I work with Python and uh, JavaScript, and uh, use the for UI automation. I use Selenium. I use Playwright for performance. I, I have used Locust and K6. And currently, like I'm working in a cloud environment for a, uh, a, cl a public cloud company. So, um, so we use like a lot of cloud testing there using Kubernetes containers. And for mobile testing, I have used the FPM. So, let's quickly dive into the topic now. So, uh, first, it is like what is full stack testing and why we need it. So, full stack testing is what like. Uh, in the previous, you can say previous years, the testing is just about the, like, uh, it should be a bug free applications. Uh, it is not more than that part. If, if I say, like, in my college days or back into the, like, uh, you can say 90s or, like, the early 2000s, the testing is only up to the, like, your application should be a bug free. It should not be, like, have any, you can say issues in the uh, uh, issues in the code, uh, not the functional one. It should be properly working. It is no not more about the other things. So when you say about the quality nowadays, so th there is a different aspect of that. So uh, when I say like what is quality to you, so somebody will say like quality is for me a great user experience. Somebody will say like it should be like data pri privacy for me. Somebody will say like it should be like easy to use application. I, I should not have like uh, a, a many time to learn from these things. Uh, uh, it should be like very easy to pick up the application and then start using it. So application uh, quality is coming from a long way. So currently the quality is not what is back then. So that's why it's come in uh, full stack testing comes into the role. So full stack testing is a comprehensive approach. You can say which cover all the stacks or you can say the stack is we, we can also call it the layers of a software. So that is like your UI, your APIs, your backend, uh, your, uh, you can say database. So the covering all the layers uh, we, uh, in the testing is called like full stack testing. And I, I have also like covered the part like why we need it because back there there are just the bug free applications we need into the quality. But now the quality 
parameters has changed a lot so we need performance ready application it should be accessible to everyone uh, and the usability should be strong also the security is a major part in the current uh, in the current software cycles so these are the things why we need a good uh, full stack testing so here if you say like a full stack testing is not equal to like full stack tester so uh, uh, similarly into like you can say there are full stack developers so i would not suggest like everyone have to go for a full stack tester kind of thing because there are multiple skills you have to be proficient in everyone so it's better to know something about everything and have a proficiency in some good fields uh, it, it might be like one or two fields you have a great efficiency and you have a great reachability for that part and have a brief knowledge of every aspect of the testing also so now like what are the skills you need to possess when you have to do like full stack testing it can be like present in a single person or a single qa or it can be like a combination of your team so uh, i would suggest like have all the skills in your team if you are having like three or four guys in a uh, you can the testing team so they should know about every skills of a full uh, full stack testing because you have to cover all the stacks in your testing requirement so it should be a part of your team okay so i uh, i have like uh, crafted that in 10 major things so these are the 10 major full stack testing skills first is like your manual exploratory testing second is automated functional testing then there is continuous testing visual testing data testing performance testing security testing and uh, cfr accessibility mobile testing so th these are the terms like you might have heard of and uh, you know about these things but some might be the things like uh, you have very little knowledge of or you, you want to pursue that uh, in your future career like you uh, someone want to be a good data tester someone would want to be a good mobile tester so these are the skills you want to pursue in your future career so generally we only have like we do functional testing in our projects and uh, now we are opting a automation testing is very good you can say amount in the teams apart from that performance testing is also a good part of our current cycles but apart from these things uh, if you say like security testing currently many organizations are lacking that part also data testing they are not considering that much continuous testing is also like a good point to talk on so we will explore all the all these testing uh, testing skills one by one here so uh, let's move on okay so first is the manual exploratory testing so if i say like manual exploratory testing it is a way different from the manual testing so manual testing or you can say functional testing which involves a set of requirements that need to be checked uh, it, it can be our user story it can be our feature so we we have a feature or user story in our uh, sprint that need to be checked functionally so that that part we do in our manual or functional testing but in manual exploratory testing it requires analytical skills it requires like uh, what what is the you can say user uh, observation points how user will behave on that part what will be the real life scenarios in that part and it is not documented into the user story we have to create some use cases like how a real user will work on that thing how this feature will be uh, treated and you can say uh, by the user or in real life scenarios so th th there are like multiple approaches for that and some common techniques which we are using into the manual exploratory testing are like boundary value analysis equivalence partitioning pair wise testing so th these are the things you have heard of and you are using in that part so th this is a part of like manual exploratory testing so th this is a you can say an enhancement on to the functional testing it it's not just functional testing or manual testing we are doing the manual exploratory testing so we need to uh, take care of these part because not every feature is just, uh, you can say developer test their feature uh, what, what is uh, written into the user story they they have some use cases they have some test cases for them already 
so we have to think beyond that like whether the user will think uh, or what kind of user base we have how how they will think what are the age of the users we are catering to uh, how they will behave in our application so these all the things which we will cover into the manual exploratory testing so the next one is the automated functional testing so automation is like currently the requirement of our uh, testing process because suppose like we have some regression cases uh, we have created a you can say newly launched product which is into the market uh, which have regression cases to be catered in like one day a person can test all the regression cases in one day but as as long as the uh, our software will grow our regression test also grow so and suppose in after 6 month or one year the regression test cases has gone to like five five man days so you, at least you need five people to complete it into a one day or if you have still have a single tester you required five days to feedback your development team like uh, this this is good to go and uh, th th this is not having any issue and we can good to release so current days five days will be a lot of time so that's why we require a automation test Uh, which will automate the things which will make the feedback look faster uh, th that's why we need the automation so you can consider the automation as an vehicle so first we have to like uh, reach our destination by walking itself now we have some vehicles uh, so you you can say there are multiple vehicles like ui automation api automation things you have uh, integration tests you have unit tests so consider it like you have some bus you have some you have a ferrari you have a audi so you have to take your vehicle and you can make the moves faster but still there there are things uh, uh, suppose like you have to reach on a mountain you can't go on a ferrari so th that's why sometimes you have to walk it to yourself uh, you don't have any choice for that but maybe in the future uh, uh, suppose like we got some good roads onto the mountains also so then we can go on uh, go on to the we can take out our ferrari and go on to the mountain on ferrari also so th that would be like into the futuristic thing but currently the things like what we call is a 100% automation kind of thing sometimes we just need to walk ourselves sometimes we can use our uh, you can say public transports uh, uh, or you can say sometime we have to use our ferrari so th that's what automation it's kind of like a vehicle which we need to fast our our process so th these are some test cases like unit test integration test contract test so currently these are the test cases which we are automating uh, service test are just like similar to the api testing so api test have like multiple parts uh, you can do unit test for your api you can do integration test you can uh, write contract test for api so uh, i have considered like service test as a functional api testing apart from that we have ui functional test uh, using the selenium we can use like cypress for that part and then the end to end test cases which cover our complete flow okay so next thing is like continuous testing so currently th this is the issue in our industry also so right now people have started like automation but they don't know where to run them so it's like uh, i have met a person like uh, she talked to me like in their team they have a uh, person who write the automation test but he will run their automation test after the regression on his local so suppose like their regression testing is taking the two days to complete all the test cases and uh, she said like uh, the person came into the morning when we have started the regression test uh, but uh, he says like it requires his system and uh, he will run all the test cases into the night so after the one day uh, spent he will start out uh, start running the automation test cases after that the next day he will come and analyze all the test runs and he got some failures there, there will be some script issues so he will take another day to examine what what are the test cases are failed uh, is there a real issue or not is there a scripting issue so that's how like he will spend the similar two days which are already spent into the manual testing so th there is no use such kind of like automation testing if you are not doing the things as fast as possible so uh, why, why are we doing the automation so this is the major things which we face like we are not getting the 
uh, ROI kind of thing for the automation because we are not running them into our CI/CD pipeline. So th- th- that's the whole you can say motive of our automation testing. We need the feedback as fast as possible. So that's why like it's very important to like. do the things into the ci cd pipeline because uh, currently the things are like we, we have a software we have to deliver it incrementally to the end users like there there are shorter cycles in every single release we have some features which will be uh, given to the user and that's how we ship our uh, current software in the you can say modern software development so for that part we use the continuous delivery Uh, and for that we need the continuous testing our all the test cases which are automated should be running into a ci cd pipeline that includes like unit test cases ui test cases api test cases there are multiple phases into the ci cd pipeline so we have to uh, put our test in different different phases that's a, like a, a whole different topic but consider like running your test cases into the ci cd pipeline because suppose a developer have like uh, do, doing their development into the night so either he required a tester who will like uh, test the software into the night uh, because he is developing into the night otherwise like there will be a ci cd pipeline which have certain checks or automation test which can give him a confidence of like these uh, all the test cases are passed so this feature do not have a major issue so you can build further and uh, the uh the uh, testing team can be test that into the morning uh, it will not have a major you can say issue or a blocking issue because the automation test are passed so that's how he will get some confidence to release it to the further phase okay so next is data testing uh just give me a second i will just sip a glass of water data testing is everyone have like heard these phrases like data is money data is the new oil so why is so so suppose we have a social media account and uh, uh, you sleep at night and after that in the morning one day you will found like when you open your social media application that uh, you have open your account but there is someone else uh you can say profile picture someone else data so what you will do your first thing will be you you just uninstall your application or you just like delete your account because there is no data privacy that that's how like data will make a trust into the user if your data is incorrect you will lose all the trust of an user and he will he will not use your platform so that's how like uh, we treat data as a money so user data should be tested very correctly so in the previous a uh, previous date or you can say in my college that when we uh, talk about data there is only one thing sql databases so we don't know uh, more than that but currently in our you can say data systems we have databases uh, that also like includes uh, sql no sql and many type of these things and apart from that we have caches we have event streamers like kafka we have data processors like hadoop kind of things so th- th- there are a lot of things which will be into the data nowadays so we have to test all the things uh, in the perspective of the data we we can't compromise the data because it will lose all the integrity so that's why data testing comes into the role so you can say data testing is a huge layer nowadays into the uh, current stack we have streaming systems uh, we we have caches uh, if one thing will fall then everything will be like fallen down uh, into the complete data stack so that's why data testing is very important nowadays okay so next come to the visual testing so visual testing uh, pe- people think like visual testing is like what we see in our application uh, we are testing our application daily and Uh, uh it, it is visually good and there is nothing changed into the visual so uh, let me tell you a fact uh, if if there is like six button in a header in your uh, you can say uh, website or your application suppose one day one button will be gone so there will be like 99% chance if that button is not actively used by yourself uh, into the daily 
you will miss that part uh, from the like human eye we can't uh, examine the visual details that much uh, if if it is not into the use very much so that's why we use uh, uh, we need say visual testing tool or you can say visual testing team to uh, see through those part so visual testing basically work on to the ui part and uh, it is more important when we comes into the branding part like currently if if you say about these things uh, uh, if you just think about any application uh, social media platform e-commerce there will be like hundreds of the competitors standing into the line so what plays the best role it should be like visually appealing it should be the brand will be great so that you can trust on that part um, there are like lot of examples currently who are just running their applications using their great ui ux uh, you can say cred one of them and uh, there are many you can uh, you can explore that part the branding is a major part uh, nowadays and visually appeal your application will cost your customer if it is not good that's why we use visual testing so we we have like loads of tool currently into the market for the visual testing we, uh, we can do like screenshot testing kind of thing so these thing can be automated these can these things can also be done by you can say yourself we with the using of multiple tools but visually uh, if your application is not good uh, it it will cost you a uh, you have seen like multiple applications that are similar into the functionality but uh, some applications are just way good into the visual presentation and, and they are just leading that part uh, we, we have like lots of uh, social media applications but we just use facebook instagram these kind of things because they they, they are visually that much of good we can have a good uh, user experience from them so Th- that's how like we do the visual testing and, and and that's why it is very important for a full stack testing part okay so next is security testing so uh, security testing is like uh, everyone may have like heard of uh, bug bounty kind of things like uh, facebook have paid uh, that much of like money to someone who have found the uh, issue into their platform google has paid someone so everyone heard those stories so when i see like on linkedin i i see every day people are giving like issues linkedin has this issue i have faced this is you make my trip there is a notification who have test data but no one getting a penny uh, everybody is like uh, posting around like 3 to 4 post of uh, issues but they are not getting anything from those issues because those are functional but the Uh, enterprises who are paying the people are for the security issues if you breach into the uh, someone's uh, security or some application security get get the hands on their data they will they will be like getting a huge loss if the, uh, if that issue will be uh, explored to the hackers or uh, uh, if they will get some you can say data integrity th- their data will be leaked they will the application will fall down because everything is about the trust if a uh, application is not secure uh, that will be a challenging issue for that application so th- that's why uh, uh, i have seen a like lot of research in the future security testing will be a emerging field uh, uh, as the digitalization is growing security threats is uh, threats are also growing so you have seen like facebook twitter everyone have some like data breaches in the past so security issue includes like loss of exposure of sensitivity sensitive data uh, some sites are able to like uh, web scraping enabled so we can uh, scrape all the data from those websites so we have to take care of these things and uh, this should be a part of like our testing cycle it uh, it is not about like uh, i have seen like many small enterprises and uh, many uh, you can say new startups have ignoring the security testing but uh, in many of the cases those are the primary you can say primary suspect for all the uh, uh, hackers like th- these are the primary targets because they they do not have a good security so that's why you have to consider the security testing in a path of like full stack testing and performance testing like th- this one is like my favorite one 
uh, I have done a lot of performance testing in the past, and performance testing is required. So, uh, I have worked with some uh, startups, and they said like we will consider the performance testing in the last. We don't have current resources currently. We don't have resources for performance testing. We don't have time. We have to do ship the product faster. But believe me. A startup have more scalability issues because uh, there there can be a disruptive uh, advertisement or uh, any like new move from the startup which which can cause like a lot of users coming in their way and they are not ready for scaling the things up uh, when it comes to the performance fast because a big enterprises uh, when you uh, talk about like Amazon Facebook Google. they have a good amount of users and those users are not going to increase in one day they they have like in uh, gradually that will be increasing but in a startup which have like suppose currently they have uh, 1 million users there there can be a single ad which can cause the multiple of like users just signing in uh, to their application and cause like 100 of millions 100 millions of new users will be flowing into their database so that that's how they should consider the performance testing uh, their priority performance testing includes like stress testing and load testing uh, uh, also the you can say spike testing in that part so the, currently in the market there are multiple tools so in the past we have, we have the jmeter load runner now there are small tools also which can be like very easy to learn and very uh, fast to implement in your uh, you can say startup so the, the, there is like k6.io there is locus there are artlid.io so these are the performance testing tools which are like uh, very easy to go you can adapt them easily and you can use them in your uh, small scale application and uh, it should be like implementation implemented to your testing cycle it should not be a uh, less priority thing performance testing should come along with your functional testing okay now the accessibility testing so the innovation which have changed everything also uh, make the uh, make the applications more accessible to everything so you have heard like apple samsung they have their products uh which are catering all the audience uh, being like uh, uh, who have like individuals and disab- with the disabilities and they have created the products which can be accessible to everyone so that's how like uh, accessibility testing uh, plays a role your application should be available to everyone everyone should be able to like accessible uh, accessible uh, to that part and that's how you do the accessible testing so uh, it it also can be like uh, done manually or automated so th- there are multiple tools also currently which are present for the accessibility testing and uh, uh, we also uh, try to prioritize this part because this will give you a higher quality for uh, every audience uh, it should be like for every individuals not for some people okay so now there are like cfr testing cfr testing is uh, just cross functional testing cross functional requirements uh, so people also say that like non functional requirement but uh, i i would uh, prefer it like the way cross functional requirements so there there are like multiple requirements like scalability maintainability, maintainability observability these are not like uh, related to functionality these are more into the integrity of the application so it should be your application should be scalable to any part so th- th- these are just like four to five but w- which i have written here but uh, cross functional requirements can be like multiple of numbers it, it should be like installability monitoring portability recoverability privacy also the like uh, interoperability uh, it's like uh, uh, when i say about like installability your application should be ready to install on every platform it can be like a android device it can be a you can say browser it can be a, 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 a apple os so anything anything should be uh, comes uh, comes in your way it should be installable to those os uh, if you are catering a large audience uh, your users can be from 
uh, iOS your user can be coming from the uh, uh, reaching to your application from a web browser. So that's how installability comes in play. Scalability is like it should be scalable. Scalable can be like scale up also and scale down also. So uh, I have seen like multiple teams which have uh, saved a lot of money by scaling down their uh, infrastructure when there are very less users. So uh, if you say about like trading applications, they, they have all the users from uh, when the market is open. When the market is closed, they do not have the uh, large number of users. So, uh, so at that time, you can scale down your infrastructure and save some cost. Also, there are like uh, maintainability. It should be maintainable. Like uh, it's not like uh, not like that. You have created something, and uh, in the maintenance, it will be like costing very much high. So you should uh, develop a application in that way, and you should test that part also. Uh, it should be maintainable. So these are the things which comes into like cross-functional requirement testing. So uh, in the last part, we have mobile testing. So mobile testing. So whatever we have like uh, uh, discussed in the into the previous testing parts, it should come into the mobile. It will be covered into the mobile testing. Uh, but th there is also a mindset which will be required for the standalone like mobile testing. So mobile have certain different features like uh, uh, features. So you can say uh, it have different components. Uh, we, we can say network uh, is a different part into the mobile. Uh, we have a batteries into the mobile. So I, I am a, I am from a mobile testing background. I have done six year job in a uh, chipset making company and we have tested mobiles a lot, uh, uh, a lot and in mobile testing. So we, we have to take care of like whether the uh, current, what, what are the current network situations, uh, what are the geolocations we are testing, what are different like battery levels currently into the mobiles. So uh, it affects everything. It should be your mobile uh, application should be uh, compatible with all aspect ratios. Uh, with all the devices, we have different devices with different screen sizes. So these are all the things we have to take care in our mobile testing approach. Obviously, we can do API testing, we can do functional testing, we can do like performance testing for our mobile application. But there are certain things which can only be performed into a mobile testing uh, application and uh, uh, which took care of all the mobi mobile part in our mobile testing. So these are uh, all type of, you can say, uh, testing skills which are required for a full stack testing. So uh, if, if you have like any questions, you can type into the questions part. So uh, Let's move on further. So we have evaluated all the things which cover, uh, which comes under the full stack testing and all the skills which comes under the full stack testing. So now we'll see like what are the benefits which we are getting from these full stack testing. So uh, we have covered like what is full stack testing, why we require that, and what are the skills we will possess in full stack testing. Now the benefits of the full stack testing. So the one thing, uh, certainly like it will improve the quality. So uh, I have talked about like why we required it because the quality have now uh, changed in, in the definition. The quality, uh, the definition of the quality has changed a lot in the past year. So that's why the full stack testing comes into the role and it ensures that like our quality should be higher. And uh, when we are doing all the full stack testing, we, we will getting an improved quality uh, uh, when we compare it to like who is doing the only the functional testing. Second is like uh, better user experience. So in current days, it's all about like your user experience, how your users are feeling when they are using your application, whether it's uh, like a feel good part, if they are facing any problem. So user experience will play a lot of role uh, in your, uh, you can say, current scenario. And uh, you should 
be like of high uh, your user experience should be a very like friend user friendly it should be intuitive and meets all the uh, needs of your end users because that's one who is paying for your application and uh, your user is you can say uh, when we say like our customer is gold uh, similar to in our software world our users are gold here so whatever like the feel is the major part of our uh, software cycle and when we do like lot of these kind of uh, activities in the full stack testing we should have like better collaboration uh, you, you cannot write unit test for your own you should collaborate with your uh, development team uh, uh, so that like they should have you some unit test if they are lacking from that part you should contribute on that part apart from that uh when, when it comes to like continuous testing you should be involved with the devops team so that's how you will have a better collaboration into the complete team with the product uh, you can say with the product developers and testers team so the, these three are the main pillars of any software when you say so it should require a better col collaboration because sometimes uh, what we have like in in many cases uh if if we test any functionality maybe like developers have already written the unit uh, unit tests for them uh, and we are still testing it again into our automation test and sometimes what we have seen like the things which are covered in our automation tests are not reported well to the manual testing team and the functional testing or you can say manual testing team is already doing those cases again and again so th there is of no use to doing the repetitive parts because it will not make anything fast Uh, rather than it will make the things slow so th that's why we need a better collaboration and that's how like uh, if we have a good uh, uh, full stack testing and uh, th uh, that is integrated to e each other or you can say in different layers and so we can do some better collaboration in our team and uh, increase the efficiency, efficiency uh, that is like uh, certainly a one thing which will be increased Uh, because uh, if someone is doing like uh, i have taken as an example like regression testing in 3 days and automation testing can uh, uh, put that uh, put that thing uh, about like one days or one and half day, days so definitely it will like make some efficiency in into the process and uh, the things will be covered as fast as possible and uh, third, uh, last part is like faster time to market so the whole concept is here like to deliver the software into the chunks to the users so that we have some early profitability earlier it was like we have to build our software completely then we have to ship it to the users but nowadays uh, our software is like uh, uh, we have created multiple parts of it and we are shipping it one by one uh, uh, in every ship uh, shipment there are certain features so we need testers to be like fast enough the testing process should be fast enough to uh, release uh, our software as fast as possible so uh, so that it will be like faster time to uh, market the things okay so uh, we have covered like benefits but there, there are certainly many challenges which will we uh, we face in our like full stack testing team so th th these three are the like major challenges which which we face when we do full stack testing number one is complex test environment so test environment plays a lot of role and uh, when we are doing like n type of testing uh, it it will it certainly be like complex thing uh, we have like we should have a different environment for our performance team we should have some qa environment for testing the functionally par uh, functional part of the things uh, uh, some environment should goes for the automation testing also we have to prepare some data for our automation testing team there is like performance testing team also which will take care of the performance uh, performance part security testing is uh, need to be done with the real data so these all things combined can give you a complex uh, complex environment but certainly like we need to go through all of these we don't not uh, just hide from these challenges we have to take care of these things so a good planning and good uh, you can say strategy for our testing will take care of these challenges 
uh, coast is a like bigger part so nowadays we have like lot of uh, open source platforms which will take care but certainly those to learn them and to implement them have 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 a good cost also so cost is a major way so uh, i have like teams which, which do not have like multiple testers and uh, uh, the testers which which uh, which are currently present are only focused on to the functional part because they do not have much time to explore more things into the testing so that's how like cost play a bigger role into the full stack testing and certainly like we are trying to uh, do our uh, feedback process uh, as fast as possible uh, because uh, we, we need to uh, make the uh, make our product uh, market ready very fastly but it can be like time consuming because first we are just checking out the functionality we are just like uh, keeping our application bug free but now we are checking every aspect so it it certainly takes a lot of time but this time consumed will give you a higher quality which is presented before so if if you say the overall time is like higher but when you say about like quality parts so it have decreased it and the efficiency has increased okay so now we will talk about like some best practices of our full stack testing which needs to be considered uh, in our you can say uh, in our testing teams and these these will also help us to cater those challenges which are discussed previously <coughs> uh, sorry so plan early so uh, as i am discussing like everything about like as fast as possible you have heard this term, uh, this term many times from uh, me like in the previous slides so we have to make things as fast as possible also like we have to make things as early as possible so plan early or you can say shift left testing is a, uh, is played a major role into the full stack testing we have to start our things as early as possible because it it will help us to give a uh, good feedback loop it should be like faster in the way and when we start it early it should be like earlier in the time uh, so th there is a great you can say quote by the steve jobs if you f uh, find the things or you can say bugs uh, as early as possible it will be like cheaper to fix uh, so similar goes to the like vice versa if you find the things uh, into the end your bugs will be founded into the last en environment in the production uh, it will be cost you a lot of things and it will be like very costly to fix those bugs so try to like plan as early and start your testing as early so that you will uh, take care of your issues or quality into the early stages second is like use automation so uh, as i have i have told like first we are like walking by our bare foot now we have some vehicles we can make the process much faster so uh, th that's why we have to use the automation and uh, using the automation is like a tricky thing uh, people are doing automation nowadays but they are not getting anything from the automation so th this is the major problem uh, into the current industry uh, for this parts we have to plan the things very uh, like uh, you can say project oriented we need to focus on all the things what we require from our automation it should have like a good plan like why we require the automation and what are the challenges which we are dealing with in our automation uh, you can say project it should not be like we have to convert our, our test cases into a test scripts uh, uh, we should have a proper goal so uh, suppose uh, you will go to some like uh, wealth manager first he will ask you what what are your goals what, what are you trying to achieve here so similarly into the automation we have to identify what are our goals what we trying to achieve here how it will solve our problem then we have to find out like what are some great tools which can be used into the automation and uh, uh, that will fast our that will make the process fast faster and that's how we should use the automation and the third part is like collaborate uh, as i have already discussed full stack testing is like uh, increase the collaboration and collaboration should be like a essential part into the full stack testing otherwise like you will be doing the same things which will be like covered into the other you can say other cycles already uh, 
suppose like the the uh, let me take an example of the automation part here so when we do the automation uh, we discuss with all the teams like what are the easiest layer or you can say faster layer uh, uh, we will choose so that our automation test will be have less time and less expensive if our automation uh, uh, if our test case should be covered into the you can see unit test that's the uh, best thing to do uh, if it is if it cannot be covered into the unit test unit test so we we have to come a layer higher so we we'll try to do it into the api if if it is not covered into the api th then we will cover that into the ui part so that's how you collaborate with the other teams and see like how to run your test cases efficiently you have to connect with your devops team development team like to see what are the good use uh, to uh, to do the things very fastly and the last one is like user experience so everything is like we are doing for the user experience if our user is not happy uh, if we are not meeting the requirement of our end user then th th there is no way to like do all the testing suppose like we are functionally very good but our application is not up to the mark into the ui is not like a good looking thing is not visually appealing it, uh, the user experience is not good functionally everything is working well but suppose you have to just log in and you have to go through of like six pages first you have to enter an email then you have to enter your phone number then there will be an otp then you have to enter password so th that will not be good user experience so the user experience plays a lot of role and you have to consider that like what will be your end users expectations and if you are trying to uh, meet them so it will be the best case scenario for you so uh, i think like that's it from my side now uh, uh, this whole presentation and uh, you can say the, the main things which i have taken it from the full stack testing it's a great book by the gayatri mohan so uh, as like vartika have told you we have a session from gayatri mohan also into the future so you should join that so if if you have to deep dive into the full stack testing part i highly recommend this book this is like uh, very insightfully written by the gayatri mohan and uh, it it consists all the full stack testing skills and how you can uh, test them i have just taken the brief out, brief out of it like what are those testing what are the like benefits of them but if you have to dive deep uh, you you i certainly like recommend this book and you should read it and it will be like accessible on to amazon prime and i think uh, you can see kindle also you can just directly buy it and read that part so that's it from my side and uh, these are the like things where you can find me on linkedin on topmed and if there is like any question so i will be ready to take it yeah hi manish that was an amazing session may you like really enjoyed the whole presentation uh thank you so much for this uh, we have few questions by people i'll just uh, share them so we have a question from sandeep um you're asking what is cfr testing uh, please help us in understanding okay so uh, sandeep cfr is like cross functionality requirement so uh, when we say about like cross functionality so uh, if you say about functionality that that is like a functional part of our you can say uh, application but cross functionality it should be like available to everyone Th there are certain aspect which we have uh, for our application so if i take an example uh, uh, the application which are into the finance domain they should be like available 24/7 so uh, uh, it, just the you can say uh, half an hour of the downtime will cost them a millions of dollars you can say directly because they they are into the finance domain so availability is one part of their cross functional requirement and scalability can be a good requirement for a streaming you can say application suppose there is like a uh, tournament like as as you know like ipl is currently going on so the streaming platform which is uh, streaming the ipl should require highly scalable because when the there will be any match uh, then the user will hitting the uh, website that uh, uh, is more scalable way so that's where we we think like the scalability will be so th these are the things like which will be covered into the cfr testing 
Understood. So I hope that answers your question, Sandeep. We have another question by Gayatri. Uh, she is asking, what is contract tests? Okay, so contract tests are uh, majorly considered for the API testings. So when you be, when you have like multiple API services, suppose you have authentication, you have some uh, services related to your, you can say user. Uh, some some services would be like uh, for like uh, if if you are working on an e-commerce platform, it should be something related to your uh, uh, order journey kind of thing. So th there are multiple uh, services when we uh, run in a mic microservices uh, environment. So a contract should be what will be the user data or you can say uh, API data you will pass when you ask from the other service and uh, in the contract it will be written what will be what will come into the response so to uh, check that part uh, we it comes under to the contract testing so we, uh, there, there are multiple tools currently into the market one one of the best is like pact we can use pact for the contract testing uh, it will uh, sometimes like what we have do two services which are dependent on each other and uh, those are currently into the development progress we cannot test them uh, onto the integra integrated part so we need to write their contract test which involves like mocking or stubs so we can write a, a mock test which will take the you can say what are the whatever is written into the contract as a uh, mock data and it will give you a response. The response would be uh, same which is written into the contract. Got it. Understood. Um, so I hope that answers your question, Gayatri. We have another question by Matthews. In models, SDLC, the CFR testing was not switched to SRE rule. I agree with that. The scale is very important. The scalability all kind of performance to be honest it's very important every qa should focus on them but monitoring also what's your opinion on this yeah certainly matthews like th th there are a lot of like cross functionality requirements uh, when you say about like uh, about the application so every applications have different different requirements uh, when it comes to like cfrs so monitoring is uh, also like w one of them like uh, if you read into the like full stick testing book, uh, Gayatri has just like defined around like 25 of these kind of things. So this this can be like installability, archivability is also a part. Like suppose like Amazon have your order history, that's a part of like CFR requirements uh, also. That's is archivability. It should archive all your order history into the database so that you can uh, see your previous orders. So th these are all the parts of the CFR testing. You have to figure out well, what are the like cross functional requirements uh, on your application and uh, have to take care of all those things. Understood. understood. Uh, I hope that answers your question, Monish. Um, we'll take one more last question. Uh, then we can, I think, end this uh, session. So uh, the question is, what is ROI of full stack testing by Anand? So uh, ROI, when you say like uh, everything we are doing for the higher quality. So uh, uh, if I would say like uh, uh, when, when we ask the same question for the uh, development team, what is the ROI of the uh, developing that application? So th th they would say like uh, development is not the uh, investment. Uh, it's a part of like our thing. So similarly in the full stack testing, uh, we are not doing any, uh, you can say a part of investment. It's kind of like uh, you can uh, see itself as, a, an, as an expense. You can say it's a part of our, uh, you can say development cycle. And uh, if, if you are looking out to, on the returns part so the, uh, i do not believe like it should be an investment if if you say about the benefits certainly it will be like get you a higher quality it will be uh, get you ahead of your competitor it will make your application more robust so th that's what we say about like benefits of the full stack testing okay uh, I think we, we, for the rest of the questions, I can send it across to you and then share with the attendees or later yeah, the sure. answers. Yeah. Thank you so much, Manish. Like, this was an amazing session by you.
and i can see that the attendees enjoyed the session a lot so thank you so much for doing this with us i hope to uh, host you in another event soon where you yeah. can you know, share thank your you. knowledge okay thank, so thank you, you so much thank, thank everyone for